Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 10, and today verses 8 and 9 for our devotional reading. Whatever city you enter and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you, and heal the sick there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. Now, there might be a question right here about somebody putting some uh, unclean food in front of you. You know, if they set out the bacon there for you. Now, the Bible is actually quite clear in Leviticus chapter 11, and even in the New Testament, I'm not going to plow into those passages, but uh, there are clean and unclean foods and say, well, that's a Jewish thing. Well, no, go back to Genesis. It's before there was any Jews. Uh, when they loaded on the ark, go back to Genesis 6 and 7 and 8 there. They, they come in clean and unclean with different numbers of animals. That's not our story today. But just saying that there's different, you know, the, there's different kinds of animals and there's Things about some of them are kind of cleanup animals. They 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 eat the carrion, they eat the the roadkill, and there's usually those animals. There's good reasons not to eat those animals. So for health reasons, you wouldn't eat a lot of that. You wouldn't eat any of that. And by the way, you know, a cat, a big a big cat, has got a a, a very short colon, and you have a very long colon. Is there's just differences in in the design there. But anyway, this when they would be going through Israel, and they're not going to be going into places where people are going to be saying, hey, you want some ham and bacon with that? That's not going to be happening there. But what's interesting to me here in this passage, and that's kind of the minor point here, what's going on here, though, is that go spend time with people and let them know, tell them, proclaim that the kingdom of God has come near. Uh, people, we're not doing this. We're, we're acting kind of like wimps. Uh, we're not telling people the truth, you know. Hey, when you come on, on the mission that Jesus sends you on, you should go with confidence. So Jesus says, heal the sick there and let them know the kingdom has come near to them. I mean, do it by demonstration and also proclaim it. We are kind of too wimpy about this. We need to be out there and say, uh, we need to actually be, be working in ways that will be healing towards people. And then we need to proclaim the kingdom has come. The kingdom is a very distant thing for most people. It's something that sort of is, is all kind of a theory. It's just kind of, you're saying it's true, but is it true? We need to be living our lives so that we know it's true and that other people see it and they say, yeah, that's, that's, that's the real deal. Those people really uh, believe it and they live it. So let's us be living it and God's blessing will be upon us. But if we're going to go out there and proclaim it in a very tentative way, well, oh yeah, well, the kingdom might be here. Here I am, I'm, I'm representing God and the kingdom might be here. That's not it. That's not it. The kingdom is here. And let's say so. Let's pray. Father in heaven, help us to be uh, clear without even saying it that the kingdom's here. But when we say it, help us to say it with a certainty that will attract attention and cause people to think on these things. Lord, bless us as we do your work in all the different ways and places you have for us. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. Yes, the kingdom of God has come near. Even in a, even on a little video like this, God calls us. God's blessing be upon you.